ATV Travel Talks 2023. Ich habe jetzt zwei britische Tour Operator hier, die ein ähnliches Profil haben, ein bisschen unterschiedlich. HW Gale von Inghams, der hier steht, er repräsentiert einen wichtigen Partner der Österreich-Werbung, der Aktivurlaube generell anbietet in UK und auch in Irland. Also vor allem Ski, aber nicht nur Wintersport, sondern auch so Berg, Wandern, Seen im Sommer. Und andererseits haben wir hier äh, Gordon Ritter. Er vertritt einen wichtigen Online-Anbieter, der speziell auf Ski ausgerichtet ist und 60 österreichische Veranstalter im Programm hat. Of course, we have seen a lot of changes within the last years. So, uh, what is the current situation on your market, and are there any significant new trends now? Um, I would say that uh, the bounce back um, after the pandemic um, is uh, very apparent. Um, the demand um, for um, going on holiday has been very high. Um, this last winter, for example, uh, we saw um, a lot of uh, returning guests, um, guests who were uh, very happy to travel um, once again. Um, we are experiencing also um, high demand for, um, for the summer. Um, so I would say that uh, trend-wise, um, a little bit difficult to perhaps say that anything is uh, all that important um, following um, the pandemic, but we are noticing that um, our guests are happy to book um, with a tour operator. Um, they like to have the peace of mind. They like to have the security in knowing that um, if they're traveling with Inghams, that they're going to have um, that uh, security in place for when, um, when they go on holiday. Anything you'd like to add, Gordon? Yeah, I can probably, probably add to that. Um, there was probably some pent up demand this winter, I would have thought. So a rollover from the previous winter when travel was still a little bit difficult. Um, but when you consider in the UK there was a high risk of recession um, and some un economic uncertainty, it's quite surprising how much demand there was, actually. It was strong. And, uh, yeah, I think it'll take another season or two to work out whether that was, you know, uh, a long-term thing. In other words, you know, strong performance this winter. Will that lead to a strong performance next winter, or whether it was a bit of a just a bounce post-COVID? But but the signs are the signs are very 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 good. And uh, one thing we've worked out quite quickly is that uh, you can you can throw economic uncertainty at a consumer, but they never miss their ski holiday. Yeah, I would say with that pent-up demand, that um, it is uh, very clear that there were people who wanted to ski last year, but for whatever reason they they, they couldn't, so they put it across to this year. And like Gordon says, with all of the economic uncertainty, inflation, cost of living, um, etc., um, it will be interesting to see how um, the ski season, for example, books next year. But ski seems to be a little bit different. It seems to buck trends because people want to go on ski holidays. It's quite niche, for example, in, uh, in the UK. And for that reason, I think people want their ski holiday. What is the actual image of Austria? I have learned that you both are very focused on the west of Austria and also maybe big cities like Vienna, Salzburg. But uh, you also go on a post tour to Carinthia. So maybe this is a new potential for you. But what, what, what is a, Austria is a skiing country for the UK target group or is there other aspects to it? Certainly other aspects to it. And like we say, we have a year round product. So um, our summer product more and more is geared around um, walking and geared around experiential travel. So the customer not only wants the Gemütlichkeit, he wants the uh, amazing um, service levels that they get um, in good Austrian um, hotels. They also want to um, see more of the country. They want to know more about things that they can do here, whether it's um, out walking in the mountains or whether it's uh, connected with um, culture. Um, connected with things like, um, you know, dancing or cooking or all sorts of other things that, uh, that they do. Um, and the idea of going on this, um, this post tour is to experience a little bit more um, of the country in Corinthia, the sunny side of the Alps, and uh, to um, enjoy um, some walking, getting a little bit more um, into um, active um, and experiential travel. Yeah, I mean, from an igloo perspective, I can only really talk about the winter because it's 99.9% um, 
um, a winter business. But the reality is that, you know, Austria offers uh, offers so much to the consumer. Lo loyalty is a big thing with Austria, I think, because the uh, service and standards are consistently high and the value is there as well. I think that just breeds loyalty. Um, you know, I, I often when I'm writing notes about Austria and what what what, what is the big sell? Uh, well, besides people having a great experience and coming back, it's also, um, as I say, it's a number of uh, elements not to not to forget authenticity because that's something that you don't necessarily see everywhere uh, in terms of ski products. So, yeah, I mean, there's lots of reasons why um, why people uh, buy into Austria, um, and there's lots of reasons why uh, ski in particular, why Austria should be um, should be thinking positively about about the future because, uh, as I say. Loyalty means a lot in travel, um, and Austria certainly has that when it comes to skiers. So I, I understand that people like the, the, the grown structure in Austria, in, in everything, in, in also winter tourism, it grew out of local structures mostly. Mm -hmm. So this is what the people appreciate. Yeah. The loyalty, I mean, Inghams have been coming to Austria since 1934. So next year will be 90 years um, of selling holidays in, uh, in Austria. Started as ski, but We've um, been working uh, with our um, summer partners um, and often it's a year-round uh, working relationship. Um, so, yeah, we're always looking for um, anything um, that's uh, outside of the box. Um, we like to say something that makes the, uh, um, boat, go faster. the boat go faster, yeah, um, so that we can um, offer our guests um, not only what they're um, knowing Austria in particular for, but um, something that's new. At the end of the ATP 23, uh, what are your what, what kind of perspectives do you see now? What potentials are there, specifically after these few days here? Takeaways from from the ATP Gord, I'll, I'll give that one to you. Okay. Um, I, I inside our business where we work with so many tour operators, but we also sell direct to consumers, so we. We have quite a good view of the market and we've got a lot of a lot of supply so if someone says for example ski austria then there's no shortage of of, of holidays to to offer so so for me um what what this particular event's been more about has been uh, destination focused so um there's a lot of tourist offices here um and and that's good for us because we're an online business and we're very content driven so uh you know rather than constantly focusing on how many holidays we have to sell or how many holidays we have on offer, the, our focus is switching now more towards um, improving our content online. So whether that's um, media as in imagery or whether that's copy, it's kind of all of that stuff because you need content rich websites now. Bookability is not the issue anymore. People can you know, click book, and, uh, book holidays in two or three clicks. It's not, not, a big, uh, not a big ask, but making sure you've got you know, content rich uh, websites is super important. And working with tourist offices is exactly how you get that. You get accurate information, you get, you get the imagery. So that's, that's a little bit selfish because I'm really talking about me and Igloo, but that's, that's one of the big take, that's, well, a takeaway for me from ATB is probably those conversations and getting those contacts with the tourist offices. The, um, the impressive uh, infrastructures um, from the tourist offices, um, the ability these days to have longer seasons because uh, things like the lift systems are open longer, um, that gives opportunity. Um, the networking that you get here at ATB, um, second to none, very good um, working relationships, often historic uh, working relationships with hotel partners that you've known for many, many years. And both Gordon and I have been in the industry for over 30 years for me a bit a bit longer than that but we both started as uh, as reps working in ski and um, austrian resorts and our focus um, for most of our career has been very austria um, austria driven so yeah for me um, coming to events like this first of all after the pandemic nice to be able to see face to face you know, to do deals once again face to face rather than over teams or uh, on the phone or via email and yeah I mean takeaways for um, for me from from ATB um, are that there is always um, a lot more that uh, that we as a company can offer to our guests whether you're talking about in the city or in the resorts and you know this summer we're looking to do something different something which is more focused for a different demographic 
Inghams traditionally um, bring a lot of um, older um, guests, um, couples who come on holiday um, to enjoy the wonderful hotels and the walks. And um, we're looking to attract um, a younger guest, an active, um, an active guest, people who are happy to go out and, uh, yeah, really muck in with, uh, with what Austria has to offer. Thank you for your insights. Ja, das waren unsere britischen Tour Operator mit einer Bilanz von der ATP 2023 bei den Travel Talks.